Let's talk about some iPhone settings you need to turn on right now. We've got a whole bunch of new iOS 15 settings as well as some older iPhone settings that somehow got turned off when you installed the major update. Curious how that happens sometimes. It does happen. So let's open the settings app mm. and scroll down to mail, tap on mail, new setting right here, privacy protection, tap on that. Make sure the switch is on. I'm pretty sure it's on by default but you wanna make sure it's on. Yeah, definitely make sure it's on. It's an interesting thing. Companies, when they send you emails, typically have the ability to track whether you opened them and then what you clicked on and then sometimes what you did because there are these hidden little pixels in there. This stops them from doing that by doing a convoluted bunch of technical stuff. And just That's so you know website. how honest we are, this setting, if you turn it on your iPhone, actually would hurt us a little bit. Well, I mean, not, not like physically, not but physically. if you turn this on, please give this video thumbs up. One thumbs up. That's all we ask. That's let's, all. Just a little thumbs up. Let's tap back to mail. Tap back to the main page of the settings app. It's not like we're the Mets giving our fans a thumbs down. That's good. Yeah. yeah that's pretty relevant. There you go. Tap privacy. Then tap record app activity. New setting. Turn this on. Unfortunately, the full app activity reports aren't available yet. There's a preview of what that will look like on Apple's website. It's still in beta, hopefully with public release. We'll get those app reports and see what these apps are doing on your iPhone. You might be able to catch some bad actors in the in the meantime. Bad actors. Bad actors. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. But really, it's just going to show a lot of websites in the background that apps are contacting to track you. Next, let's tap back on privacy upper left hand corner of the screen. Then scroll up and tap on location services. Now we're going to scroll all the way down. It's like a maze. Tap system services. A whole bunch of these switches are on that don't need to be. Check out our other video, iOS 15 settings to turn off now to know which ones of these to turn off. Yeah, we'll drop a link in the description section below. So if you're done with this video, when you are, keep watching this video though, and then watch that one. But we're coming down all the way to the bottom to the status bar icon. Let's turn that on. Yep, and so then if your iPhone's using your location, right now David has a screen recording going, so it's blocking where it would be, but you'll see a little arrow up here. And then if you see that arrow all the time, that would indicate a pretty big battery problem. And in the other video, we talk about how to figure out which apps are using your location all the time and turn it off. Yep, so, that's yeah. it for the privacy section of the settings app. Let's go back to the main page of settings. We're going to tap on focus. New section of the settings app. It used to be do not disturb, now it's focus. We've got all these things housed in focus. We've got do not disturb, do not disturb while driving, some new things. But we're gonna tap on do not disturb. First thing we wanna do here is allow notifications from certain people. Are there wow. people that you want to get past that do not disturb? If he's got one person and it's not me, that's for so sure. So you tap on allow notifications, add a person, come through all your contacts, select whoever you want. So we'll tap done and then tap back to do not disturb. Now there is a whole sleep section of the focus section Sections. of sleep. settings. Focus on sleeping. Yeah. But if you don't want to go through that whole process, it's a little bit lengthy. You can also just schedule do not disturb right here. Tap right. Add schedule automation. You choose a time, a location. Maybe you want do not disturb to be off while you're at work. You're a teacher and you yep. don't want to get distracted by your phone while you're teaching in class. Or you do. Yeah. Or you do. Yeah, yeah. Please, please, please help me. Help me. Get me away from these kids. Or if you're using a specific app, I like this example, books. You're reading a book on your iPhone. And right. You don't want people to be texting you, interrupting your flow. Yep. But you just tap on a time, schedule a time, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You know, it's a work day. I'll just to say that. Okay. And there you go. We're going to go back to the main page of settings again. Back, back, back. Back, back, back. Let's tap on music. You got to scroll down quite a ways. There it is, right above photos. Tap on music. Because music is very important and, and alphabetically superior. Tap on audio quality, lossless audio. Make sure that switch is on. I like this switch. Finally, our audio is CD quality. Back to the 90s. Yes. Well, we're going, we don't need. Rose. Throw away your Walkman. The iPhone can do it now. now. Now your iPhone can play CD quality music. It's amazing what we've been missing out on. So obviously this is also more than CD quality, but it sort of makes it a minimum of CD quality. And then these are important switches. So cellular streaming. I choose high quality, which is not lossless because I don't want to burn through my whole cellular data plan. Let's go back. Wi-Fi streaming. High res lossless. Correct. Yep. Why? Because you've got Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter how much data you use, you want the highest quality. Tap back one more time, let's hop on downloads. Lossless, kind of a nice in-between. 
If you have enough iPhone storage, definitely choose lossless. High res lossless might be a little overkill, you're running storage faster. High quality isn't really all that high quality. If high quality is the highest quality, is it really high quality? It should now, isn't that low quality then? It's kind of like Starbucks. Well, then tall high, then the high, high quality wouldn't be the highest quality. High quality is the lowest quality here. You said high quality is the highest quality. Oh, well, I was wrong. All right. Well, Good point. Well, let's go back to the main page of the settings app. Let's talk about some Safari settings. Scroll up just a little bit and tap on Safari. Let's go into Safari. They've added quite a bit to Safari. This page is a lot longer than it used to be. First thing we're going to talk about, close tabs. I am a serial leave tabs open person. It's tab preserver. Tab preserver. I checked earlier today, had like 25 tabs open, didn't need half of them. Half of them were ESPN all on like the same MLB page. It was, you know. Well, the Yankees are doing so bad yeah. right now. It's very frustrating. So if you want your iPhone to automatically close those old tabs, you're just never, ever going to get back to. Here you go. What do you want to do? I'm going to choose one month just yeah. to play it safe at first. We'll yep. see. Yep. If only the Yankees could play it yeah. safe at first. Set back to Safari. Then take a look at this very important setting. One of the most important ones we're going to talk about in this video. It's prevent cross-site tracking. Don't let advertisers track you as you go across multiple websites yep. in Safari on your iPhone. Simple as that. I like it. Yep. It should be on by default, but it's not. So you have to turn it on. You have to turn it on. Shoo. So you're on Airbnb, you go to CNN and you're seeing ads for Fiji because that's yeah. where you're thinking about going. You don't need that. You may see fewer ads because this makes you less valuable to advertisers. Yep. Even though people will tell you, you won't see fewer ads. They're lying. You probably won't. Probably won't. But you but might. You might not so see as why many not? ads. Let's go back to the main page of the settings app. We're going to scroll up and tap on accessibility Battery tip here, we're gonna tap on display and text size, scroll all the way down, make sure reduce white point is on. The yeah. minimum brightness when you're in a totally dark environment, you're in bed going to sleep, you're on a- Yeah, I'm trying to get it all the way down to like the tiniest little bit because in bed, these are very bright screens, so yep. I, I turn mine on. Yep, reduce white point, save a little battery life too because the screen isn't so bright. All right, and maybe uh, auto goes. brightness, maybe turn that on too. But we don't turn it on because it would affect our screen recordings we do that for you. Yep. Otherwise, it'd be going up and down. Next, let's talk about Wi-Fi calling. Disclaimer, if you don't see this setting on your iPhone, it's because it's not included with your cell phone plan. So if you don't see it, it's not our fault. It's your carrier's fault. It's your fault. Set back to the main <laughs> page of the settings app. <laughs> Scroll down. But before you leave an angry comment, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a, I mean, you gave us a thumbs up earlier, and we appreciate it. But you could subscribe to it. That would be lovely. Yeah. Right after you hit subscribe, tap phone in the settings app, then tap Wi-Fi calling. Just make sure that Wi-Fi calling is on. Make and receive phone calls over Wi-Fi with your Verizon account. Ooh. What are the benefits of Wi-Fi calling? 15 seconds, elevator pitch. Wi-Fi calling allows you to make phone calls using a Wi-Fi connection in areas with poor cell phone service. Yep. You have no service, you got a Wi-Fi connection, you can still make, make that phone call. Phone Send that calls. text message. And you can even add it for other devices. I would turn that on, but David does not have it on. Well, let's go back to the main page of the settings app again. We're just kind of going all over the place. It's like we're we playing uh, shoots and ladders. Right. Scroll up and tap on battery. Tap on battery health and tap on optimized battery <laughs> charging. Let your iPhone learn your charging habits to reduce battery aging. Kind of a no-brainer here. Yeah, I mean, why not? Yeah, if you like battery tips, card above, description section below, a whole bunch of more battery tips if you're into that sort of thing. Good battery health, good battery life. Yep, battery everything. All right, back to the main page of the settings app again. I wish there were more settings that were all in the same section of the settings app. They should of... let us make our own settings yeah. and it's call it David and David settings. I think we should talk to Apple about that. Yeah. Scroll down on the main page of settings, tap on messages, scroll down and tap text message forward and allow your iPhone text messages to also be sent and received on other devices signed into your iMessage account. So if you got other devices, I love this on my Mac, so I don't have to check my phone. Yeah, send them to Colin. That's send good. Send them to Colin. I'll turn that off. <laughs> yeah, somebody dumped a cup of coffee on their yeah, Mac. Big mistake. Had to borrow a Had friend's. to borrow a computer. Had to borrow a laptop. Yeah. Not your iPad, though. I'm Sorry. not a big iPad texter. Not it's a big iPad texter. More of just a, you know. Yeah. Cutting board. Let's go back to the main page of the settings app again. How about some camera settings? Or a Ooh. camera setting. If yeah. I can find it, scroll down. Camera. There it is. Preserve camera settings. Tap on preserve settings. 
preserved camera mode. Make sure that wow. switches on. They just keep adding. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. Live photo is the one to really make sure that that is on, which means that once you turn it off, it doesn't automatically turn back on every single time. So instead of taking photos, you're taking these little videos. My friend Dan just had a very beautiful baby. He takes live photos all the time. If you asked him, he would not know that he does, but it's kind of cute because the kid's always moving, which is nice. You can see your little hand. There's a you know rare use case for live photos. For live photo. But if you don't have a baby or you're not taking a picture of somebody on a Ferris wheel, turn, don't, don't take live photos. I mean, we're just talking about, it's gonna fill up all your storage. Apple's gonna sell you more iCloud storage space. There's a reason why it's really easy to turn on. Turn this on. Turn that And then turn that on. off live photo. Next, let's talk about passwords. If you want your passwords to autofill from maybe they're saved in Chrome, maybe they're saved on your iCloud keychain, you want those to work on your iPhone, not just your Mac, gotta do that in settings. Go back to the main page of the settings app, scroll up and tap on passwords, face ID, unlock, then tap on autofill passwords, iCloud, Keychain, and Chrome. Where do you want your passwords to autofill from? I want both. Make sure those check marks appear. Turn on autofill. Now see, I thought I wanted both, but then I turned it on. Yep. And then I started getting a pop-up every time that was like, do you want to fill from Chrome or from iCloud? Interesting. And I was like, iCloud. Because I have like four passwords in Chrome from back in the day. So yep. definitely turn this on because that's what this video is about. Turn it on. No, it's actually extremely helpful for people that use Chrome Keychain, turn yep. off iCloud, but I, I prefer iCloud Keychain. Or turn them both on if you use them both. Yeah, and if I, if I get annoyed, I'll tweet about it and then I'll say, hey, this is annoying, you were right. Right. That'll be the day. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Please join this channel if you enjoyed these tips. Yep. A lot more where this came from. Right, you already gave us a thumbs up, you subscribed, and we're grateful for that. We're yep. not saying that we're not grateful, but if you were to join, we would really be grateful. Yes. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed or given this video a like, please do that now or leave us a comment and or yep. and, and leave I mean, us a comment like down below. 100% of the people that watch our videos who are subscribed, subscribe to our channel. That's true. So be like the 100% of people yeah. who are subscribed that are subscribed. That's a, that's a good pitch. Yeah. I never thought about it that way. Yeah. 100% of people. 100% of our subscribers, subscribers are subscribed have subscribed to our channel. To our channel. That's, that's a compelling. Right. Be one of the majority. Thanks for watching.